Welcome back to PhD TV, and today my buddy's wife rates my fragrances part two. Now, if you've seen the other videos, that are the ones I do with my fiance, which I'll link up here somewhere, she ranked my fragrances to figure out which one is the absolute best fragrance in my collection, other than Jimmy Choo. So, with that being said, there may have been a little bit of bias, therefore I got my buddy's wife doing it today. Just like how my fiance did it, exact same. The order might be a little different, but ultimately the exact same process. She'll have a scent card, her opinions, and a cup of coffee grounds to refresh her nose with. And this is part two. Let's get started. Ooh. This one's zesty. Okay, I definitely smell some cedar with this. It's very woodsy. I feel like this one's like, you're gonna get out your flannel shirt and your jeans and your boots and go out and chop down a tree. But this one can also be dressed up. I feel like it's very earthy. It's definitely a fall or winter. I would say winter, definitely like Christmas. I like this one a lot. I would totally wear this to Thanksgiving dinner or a family dinner or Christmas dinner. Like these are very warm, very inviting smells. Um, it has just a very pleasant kind of woodsy smell about it. Um, definitely a very manly scent. If you wanna, if you want a very manly scent, go with this one. This one is hands down super manly. Um, yeah, I'd probably give this one a seven. It was pretty good. Okay, stay away from this one, guys. Mm mm. Mm mm. Uh. Uh. This this one kind of smells like the thirty year old who still lives with his mom. I wouldn't. Um, it kind of smells like, I don't even know, like glue, maybe? Um, it's very sharp. It's very sharp and very pungent and just not overall very pleasing, I don't think. And it also is kind of drying really fast, so I feel like even if you did buy this one and you did decide to wear it for some reason, it would go away pretty quick, which is not a bad thing. Um, yeah, I'd give this like a one. <laughs> Should never wear it, not any time of year. Oh, see, now this one, mmm, yes. This is like the manly version of walking into like a candy store or a bake shop. It's got some like caramely almost smells to it. It's kind of sweet, it's very sweet, kind of mellow. Maybe like walking by an ice cream store or something, ice cream shop. Yeah, I like this one. This has definitely some caramely notes. Um, maybe even like a tiny bit of citrus with like or something a little a little bit uh, bright some bright notes to it but it's very just pleasing overall um I mean I feel like this one could be worn by any age like you could be 16 you could wear this you could be 85 and wear this like very just universal um, I would say it's probably more of a fall winter smell definitely you could probably get away with it in the summer but I think it's definitely more of a fall or winter smell I would give this one an eight. This one is very pleasant. I definitely like that one. This one I'm not a huge fan of. It's kind of has some more of those cleaner Lysol notes. It's not, a, it's not horrible. It's definitely more of a summer fragrance, I think. It's just very strong, like lemon, citrus, the whole citrus spectrum. Um, but you know what? It, it has some it has some aquatic kind of by the ocean notes too. Honestly, the more that it dries down and maybe you don't get as quite as close, kind of like a just a gentle whiff, it wouldn't be bad for more of a mature man's summer scent or just kind of like an everyday or maybe maybe like a gym scent. It's it's not bad. It's not it's not horrible. I'd probably give it like a four. This is a nice scent. This is, I feel like, um, I feel like with this one, it's it's a very light scent. It's very spring, summer. It definitely has some aquatic notes to it. That's probably the, the main thing I'm getting. It, it also has citrus, um, but the citrus isn't overpowering. It's, it's blended well. They mix together very well. The aquatic and the citrus, they are blended very well on this one. It's not extremely pungent. Like as it dries down, it's definitely getting lighter. I feel like this would be a good, if you're into citrus, I feel like that this would be one of the most ideal for like just an everyday wear in the spring and summer. I probably like, probably wouldn't choose this one if you're going out on a date, 
but if your girlfriend or your significant other happened to pop by and you're wearing this, she probably wouldn't be mad. So I, I would give this one a five, 5.5 5 probably. Not bad, it's, it's very nice light, light men's scent. Yeah, definitely. Oh, this one's nice. I like this one. Okay, this one is, um, I feel like this could be a summer, but it could also be a winter. Um, it's, it's got some very light aquatic notes to it, but it also has almost like a pine, like almost like a woodsy undertone. Kind of, if that makes any sense. So like, it has some very light notes that you kind of, that kind of hit you first. And then underneath there's like a very like woodsy scent to it. It's very, it's very pleasant. This one would be good for any age group. Um, I would say this would be just a good everyday wear but also would not be a bad choice for a date. So I feel like you could dress this one up or down. Very versatile, very universal. Um, but yeah, it's it's very nice. I, I like this one. Um, I'd probably give this one a, a six. Yeah, it's not bad. All right, so the winner is Calvin Klein Shock, the one that I believe she referenced as an ice cream shop. As you know, this is a killer cheapie. You can find these at TJ Maxx's for 25 bucks or maybe 20 bucks for a three and a half ounce, but this you can get for about 25 bucks on Fragrance Net, the six and a half ounce. I'll show it up front. Here we are, Calvin Klein One Shock. Okay, guys, this was part two. Um, go ahead and if you haven't already, click link and subscribe and follow us for part three.